welcome to Gangasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And today we've got Zombie U. No, 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 no. What? Just Zombie. What? They dropped the U. Crimes. And the U. E. Zombie U! Well, the once Nintendo exclusive has now been slightly tweaked by Ubisoft and re-released as a download-only version of the game. By tweaked, we mean the use of the gamepad has been taken away and the graphics pumped up a bit. So, what's it all about? Did you miss it when it first released on the Wii U? Well, it was a great game that utilised the Wii U's gamepad for maximum effect. Walking around the dark streets of old London town, you take on the role of a survivor. Guided by the mysterious gruff voice through your communicator, you are tasked with surviving and getting out of the city. Not being as simple as that though, as the game's death system means that when your character dies, that's it. They are dead. Deceased. Gone. No more. Dead. Forever. And they take all the gear you've collected with them. You then wake up as a completely different character. You can make your way to where you died and find your old character, backpack and all, but they're now a zombie and you have to kill them to get your stuff back. It was a cruel but fair system, and there's even a mode where if you die, that's it. Complete game over. Were you tough enough? The zombies are pretty scary and move fairly quick and can take quite a lot of punishment before falling. The combat is a mix of melee and shooting. This is pretty balanced unlike in Dead Island where guns are as rare as Mel Gibson not drinking. The weapons in Zombie U are plentiful enough but still require you to use them when the time is right. Do you really need to use the gun when there's only a couple of zombies and you have a cricket bat? So choices like these are really nice. The gamepad was the main drawer of the Zombie U experience. It's used to manage your inventory, has your map screen, you can hold it up to scan items in the world too for information and such. You can use it to ping nearby enemy locations, and of course you could hear all of the comms dialogue from your gruff friend coming from its built-in speakers. Having to take your eyes off the screen for a moment to check your map and manage your inventory added a real scare factor that could put the sturdiest of gamers on edge. <laughs> In addition to the single player experience, the gamepad was a key feature in the game's awesome multiplayer modes. One player could use the gamepad and place zombies on the map for the other player to try to survive. Being sneaky and devious and placing zombies right behind the player was lots of fun and is still great now. So how does this new download only version hold up to the full original experience? Well aside from the slight graphical update, the first thing that got our attention was the annoying skip prompt that stayed on the screen during the entire opening cinematic. <laughs> The biggest question that everyone will be asking here though is how well does the game translate from the Wii U's gamepad to the new controllers? And the answer is not bad actually. The game utilises the DualShock 4 speaker for ambient sound effects, the ping of the radar and yes you still get to hear your gruff friend. The minimap is now displayed on the screen, taking away some of the fear, but the new on-screen inventory still doesn't pause the game so you have to watch your back whilst rummaging through your backpack. The torch now features a high beam, however be careful how you use it as it drains your battery and attracts zombies much quicker whilst taking a lot longer to charge. Other little niggles we have with the inventory screen is you now have the ability to assign items and weapons to quick slots via the D-pad. Pretty good, but the way it's set up is odd. Set the items to the left and right, then double tap left and right for another two slots. Why not just use up and down as well? Ah well Jason, that's because pressing up cycles through your melee weapons and pressing down cycles through all your guns, grenades and explosion devices. Still, I'm not a fan. Not when on the Wii U version you had the luxury of your weapons and items at your fingertips for super quick selection. Yeah, and the gamepad's overall usefulness is a much missed addition. All in all, if you missed out on Zombie U because you were too afraid of something new, steady, then this is a good version to have a go on. But for the true Zombie U experience, this just doesn't cut it. It's great, but lacking so much of that original style and feel. No multiplayer, no touchscreen inventory, a map that's stuck in the corner of the screen, and you can't use the camera to turn yourself into a zombie like you could with the gamepad in the bonus features. And on that bombshell, it's time to give it a score, and Zombie for the PS4 gets a big London Town 6. A great adaptation for the mainstream gamer, but it really is a stripped back version and left us feeling like we would just rather play the proper full fat gamepad version on the Nintendo. 
Sure, for some that means buying a Wii U, and maybe, well, you should just go and buy one. Honestly, Zombie U is a game that was built for the Nintendo from the ground up, and running it on anything else will never match how it was originally meant to be enjoyed. Cool, blimey, Governor. This one can suck a lime. we go so that was zombie what do you think about it then how does it translate from the wii u version yeah i mean like we said in the review i think the biggest problem is the multiplayer i mean the multiplayer was so much fun like especially you know the king of the zombie mode where you're dropping the zombies in for your mate to kill like oh. that was amazing yeah yeah you and, can be a right bugger with that yeah yeah and to miss out on that is just it's a real shame i mean the rest of the game is amazing in itself. I mean, the story and the, the, you know, how scary it can be is really good, but just that it's missing that, that extra level of of what it used to have. Yeah, well, it's missing the depth level of it without having the gamepad as well, so you're missing mm -hmm. out on that second screen. Yeah. Okay, the PlayStation version does it really well. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, they've, you know, they have translated it well, but still just, just having that gamepad just made that game. Yeah. It's what made it really stand out. And it's a shame because that level of innovation was really good. I mean, okay, a lot of people were a bit wary about the Wii U. A lot of people thought it was gimmicky and, and oh, should we bother and, you know, and stuff like that. But then for, for people that wanted something a little bit different, that uh, it was an addition rather than a hindrance, wasn't it? It, it amplified that survival horror element, it gave you something else to do, it gave you some other way to interact with these games, and I think that was just something that's really been missed out by a lot of the gaming community. And, yeah, um, just, I mean, like, even the map on the screen was a really nice addition. Yeah. The, when you've got the sniper rifle, and yeah. you pull the screen up and you're aiming through the crosshairs yeah, on the yeah. gamepad, it's just, Obviously, now you've lost all that. So yeah, the, yeah. the full experience is still the Wii U version. Absolutely. I think. But, like we said, the PlayStation 4 version and the Xbox version and the PC version, it's a good ad adaptation and it gives you everything that, like, you know, it gives you the game basically. But the experience, it's, it's not the same. No. So, so, but there you go. Anyway, that's all the time we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed our review. If you did, please leave us a like. It helps us out immensely, and we love it when you do. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Bren. I've been Jay. And we've been Gamegasm. Gasm.